All right, welcome to Craiova, everybody. Ivana and I have just arrived here off the 10 hour train from Cluj. We are now in Wallachia and we are pretty excited to be here because quite honestly, we had never heard of Craiova until like two weeks ago. In fact, the way we heard about Craiova was because of this viral Italian couple who planned a trip to Krakow, Poland. And when they got off the plane, they said, this is not Poland. <laughs> and so they had accidentally booked a trip to Craiova. And as the story unfolds, they loved it and they recommended traveling Romania. Yeah. And they sort of accidentally fell in love with this uh, place <laughs> called Craiova. Sort of incredible that Ivana and I had been traveling five or six months in Romania mm -hmm. and never heard of this place. And so with that in mind, we have been asking you guys what to do in Craiova for the past few weeks. And so this vlog is going to take shape as sort of a choose your adventure type vlog because everything we're going to do today comes straight from the YouTube comments. True. So special thanks to our audience, starting with the art museum. Now, to be clear, I am not the kind of person who loves an art museum, but also I've never been to an art museum. So traveling is enjoyed most when you have an open mind. Mm -hmm. And when I saw the outside of the art museum, I thought maybe I could like a place like this. It's really epic from the outside. And for 10 lei or two American dollars entry fee, uh, I think it's, it's worth it. a good Gorgeous. tourist attraction. The building itself inside is amazing. All the sculptures and the whole structure is so grand. But what really caught my eye was the lovely couple, bride and groom, taking their wedding photos. And so it was pretty incredible when the bride says, oh, I know you from YouTube and points and points to Ivana. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, and so pretty. And welcome <laughs> in Canada. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, congratulations. Yes. Oh, thank you. You look so beautiful. <laughs> and so I can tell you that taking a selfie with a bride in an art museum was something I never thought I'd do. But it was actually the highlight of the art museum. Yes. Uh, there is incredible artwork all around. Some of it is, I think, original from the 1700s, mm -hmm. which is pretty special. And a lot of the artwork requires some uh, interpretation. So there's one piece called, I believe it was the birth of Romania or maybe the rise of Romania. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to pretend to be able to uh, identify all the symbolism in the artwork. Uh, but it was a pretty special place. There's a bunch of other artwork there that Ivana and I were interested in, but we don't know what it represents or what it means. Yeah, yeah. It's a bit interpretive at times. That's right. That's right. Now, with that being said, I think one of the good things about the art museum is just to admire the more simple artwork, the landscapes, and the things that we can sort of identify what they mean. I did notice that a lot of great men in Romanian history seem to be bald. <laughs> So baldness seems to be a factor in greatness. Maybe this is not news to anybody. Okay. <laughs> you want this okay? <laughs> now, we have heard that I believe Craiova is the heart of the place that the Romans conquered way back when. Wow. And so you could argue that Craiova is the sort of heart of Romania. Maybe this is why the painting was there, the birth hmm. of Romania. Hmm. But one other thing we learned from the YouTube comments was many people said, watch out in Craiova. It has a high crime rate. You might get into trouble. <laughs> now with that in mind, we just walked 25 minutes from the art museum to this lovely park here. Hmm. And on our experience walking around Craiova, we did not notice anything troublesome or curious or disconcerting. And so I would describe the walk as very, very, Forte Bine. And with that in mind, we've come to another place highly recommended, which is called Parkul Nicolai Romanescu. Yeah, okay? beautiful park. Beautiful park. I think there's some history here we can uncover before we jump back to the old town and maybe explore some more. So first things first, let's go for a trip around uh, Nicolai Romanescu Park. Let's go. Alright, so as it turns out, this park is way too big 
for Ivana and I to wander aimlessly and still find what we're looking for. I swear the walk from the art museum to the park is shorter than the walk from the entrance of the park to what we're looking for in the park. So believe it or not, we're actually using Google Maps to direct us in the park. Yes. Massive. Now, the first thing we're trying to see is this bridge here, which I believe was built in the year 1901. What? So we're looking at a 120 plus year old suspension bridge. What do you say, Ivana? You have faith wow. in the engineers or your... Actually, it looks pretty new. Yeah, I think... 1901? Uh, I think originally built, but obviously redone because, as you guys know, I've got a bit of a passion for bridges. Slowly but surely beginning to love the uh, design and just sort of admire bridges. And this one is really beautiful, especially with all the red leaves all around and the leaves changing color. Uh, really, really nice. Now, if you look, the river is so small. The other bridge is like five rocks. So I'm not sure if in 1901 the river was much bigger or maybe even in the spring the river gets bigger i assume there was some reason for this uh bridge but feels super sturdy and i would say a must check out not to mention free to enter the park so this is a nice tourist attraction or tourist experience especially with the red trees up and a bunch of birds are making noises we had some ducks on the water earlier a uh, nice place I think if I was a 20-year-old Romanian and I was going on a date with Ivana, I might take her to the park, <laughs> you know, sit on a bench. It's kind of romantic, isn't it? A little it? bit of smooching on the bench by the Ooh. bridge. Come on. <laughs> you might need to buy me some roses. Huh? Yo, by the way, Ivana's right. Romanian guys are always buying flowers. We've seen like 15 times Romanian guy with one flower yeah. given to a woman. What are these Romanian guys doing making us all look bad out here? <laughs> I thought it was February. I mean, is it Valentine's Day today? All the time, mm -hmm. Romanian guys buy flowers. Love is every day here. I, yes. Mm -hmm. I think Romanian guys are a bit... We celebrate love romantic. every day here. <laughs> By we, I mean, I'm already saying I'm Romanian. <laughs> if I want to be Romanian. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what. Uh, Five-star bridge experience. It doesn't look like much maybe, but really nice to be here. You can feel the bridge bounce a little bit beneath your feet. And next up... Uh, I believe it's called the Enchanted Castle. Sounds interesting. Let's go. Ho ho ho. Check it out, guys. The Enchanted Castle. Now, first things first. What's the difference between Enchanted and Haunted? Enchanted is like, ooh, fairy tale. Haunted is ghost. Scary. Right. Enchanted is like a positive haunting. It's like, yeah. Funny, right? Yeah, like Rapunzel. Ah, Enchanted. right, right. It's amazing that Ivana likes haunted things. She believes things could be haunted mm -hmm. and then likes to go explore them. Whereas me, I don't believe things could be haunted, <laughs> but I don't want to go explore them if they are. So it's kind of funny that it's sort of like I believe and sort of like you don't believe. But uh, here is the Enchanted Castle. Now, it looks incredible from the outside, but believe it or not, it was only built to house the water tower for the park. So all the water fountains around here, uh, the water comes from here, mm -hmm. and they built a cool looking building to hide the water tower. Good idea. Still built in 1905, so still very wow. interesting and uh, beautiful. But believe it or not, it doesn't have much of a purpose. I think it was a re restaurant for a while, mm -hmm. but nowadays it's just sort of fallen apart and they call it the enchanted castle because it was built in a way to look like it's sort of in ruins and i think nowadays it sort of is in ruins because there's a bit of a construction project around the back with that being said it's still worth coming to check out and yvonne and i have had a pretty great experience in nikolai romanescu park now to be clear one of the other things that was highly recommended was the botanical garden Ivana and I made a choice to see either 
the park or the botanical garden and not both because it's sort of similar. Yeah. And I don't want to say anything bad about the botanical <laughs> garden, but I will say I think we made the right choice because this park is really, really great. Yeah. And I we've only it. saw two of the things we chose was the bridge and the enchanted castle. There's a huge zoo. There's a horse racing track. Wow. There's a restaurant on the lake that looks pretty nice. Yeah. Although we are going to skip that restaurant and instead go to the old town, which usually in Romanian cities is our is our favorite spot. Yeah, the old town. Go to the old town, walk around, people watch. Grab some drinks. Eat some food. Probably meat. Oh, speaking about meat, I'm getting hungry, so Same. let's go to the old town. Same. Okay. Goodbye, Enchanted wow. Castle. And hello. Old town. Old town. Let's go. Hey, Crayova. Why do you do this to me? Wedding dresses. Wedding dresses. Next door. Wedding dresses. Over here, elegance, wedding dresses. It's bad enough all the Romanian guys got roses in their back pocket. Maya fashion, wedding dresses. Bella design, six in a row. Over here, Roxy, seven in a row. <laughs> oh, the subliminal messages here, Cryova. Oh, seven and eight in a row. Number nine. Oh, yo, yo, I'm over here minding my own business. Just trying to be a decent boyfriend. Ivana's got a head full of steam. She's window shopping. Very pretty. Oh, very pretty, right? Pretty dresses. I never saw that before. Uh, <laughs> literally seven or eight stores in a row, wedding apparel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yo, yo. Anyway, we've made it to the old town. Uh, I think this is the Luca of Craiova. I believe it's called Gigi. And you know the food is good when there's a lineup and there's no sign for the name. They have spent zero dollars on marketing and they have customers lined up. So I think uh, stay tuned for our GG experiment video. Actually, shout out to the Dodo Explorers <laughs> and our friend GG. But Romanians really do love their pastries, don't they? Yeah. Okay. What should we eat? We gotta find some food, Ivana. I am. I am fading fast. Lots of restaurants here. Yeah, I think around the corner here is the main square mm -hmm. by the way do we have main squares in canada we must have a main square in front we got nathan phillips square the difference is our cities are so young that we don't have the history yeah. 500 year old a thousand year old square all of the all of the history and all of these squares but unfortunately we have come at the same time the uh oil tanker is coming here what's that for what's that, what's that, for? What's that for i'm not gonna Lighty, babe, I have no idea. I think it's for big stuff. But anyway, Ivana and I really love these main squares and these old towns. Ivana is here posing like a Mary Poppins. My new friend. Very, very Just nice. gossiping, you know? <laughs> now, Ivana and I are super duper hungry. You're hungry, right? Yeah. I'm super starving, so let's get some food before I fall asleep on the vlog. Oh, Christmas decorations. Oh my gosh, is it almost Christmas already? Yeah. Wow. Time flies when you're having fun. I think we found the right area to eat, Ivana. Yeah, I think so. This looks very inviting. Corner table, sunshine. Huh? They got chorba de burta if you want. Oh my goodness. Okay. Please. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, este, Montana Musicala, Kere, Function Yaza, in Sierra Asta. Este. Okay. Fontana Musicala. Fontana. Fontana Musicala? Si. Yeah. Da. Da. <laughs> no. Uh, aici? Aici. No. 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 What's the mess? <laughs> Alright. So. First things first, listen, a lot of couples, when their food comes, they would wait for the other person's meal to come. Ivana has completely finished, digested, wiped her face with her napkin, the soup is gone, and mine just arrived. <laughs> well, if I have to wait for your match to come, my soup would have became cold. 
So you bring me you bring me to the wedding, the the the, the marriage section, and then you eat the whole meal before I get any food. <laughs> Just playing around. But listen, I did ask the lady about the musical fountain. Everyone's recommending the musical fountain in our YouTube comments. Okay. It seemed like she never heard of it in her life. Hmm. She was like, this musical fountain? I'm gonna get this one. And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> So there's no musical fountain. So no musical fountain, it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Now on the way here today, when we were walking out of our apartment, we saw a traditional market. Yeah. So stay tuned for that video. I think we'll do a whole video in the traditional market. Uh, but first things first. How is it? It feels good actually. We just always booty on it. <laughs> so there you have it guys. Uh, just a simple video today. The really highly recommended Danube Gorge mm -hmm. coming soon. Yeah. Uh, we are trying to rent a car. Oh, you want to meet? Oh. Good. Uh, one more beer. Yeah. Well, two mask. Did you know you ordered two meat? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe is it the wrong order? Did or you order two? Do... I only got two. I think I got the actually min menu of the day here. <coughs> Choba the oh, Choba the Pui. Meat. Mustard and fries, 25 lei. Right. You might have ordered that by accident. Well, I'll tell you what. Are you full? Maybe you're full and you want to give me those meats as a donation to... Uh... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, stay tuned. We're trying to rent a car. We've had some difficulty renting a car in Crayola. Mm -hmm. Inclusion is super easy. Ooh, yeah. And super cheap. Yeah. So we're trying to get a car to go to the Danube Gorges based on our amazing experience in the... Big Bad Burger. <laughs> you can't talk now. He's full of meat. Once the meat comes, the vlog has to end because I'm very distracted. Yeah, okay, guys. Crayova, so, man. So, what was, you your, like what was your impression of Crayova? Because, to be honest, Crayova. what we've learned is a lot of more Romanians are very hard on their own country. Yeah. A lot of people told us, oh, Crayova, oh, that place is rough, man. <laughs> oh, Crayova, you know? So, what was your ex experience, Ivana? My experience here, uh, so far, so good. Uh, I feel very, very safe. I love the park that we were just in. Yeah. The park was gorgeous. The trees, some of the leaves are turning red. It was amazing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. The old town, which is actually the central, is it the old town? I, I think so, because there are some old looking buildings yeah. here. Yeah. Uh, and it's very pretty as well. It's small. It's not as big as Cluj or Timisoara or Brasov. It's quite small. Yeah. I think Craiova is the sixth biggest city in uh, Romania. Six? The sixth biggest. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in terms of size or our population, but anyway. Yeah. And people are friendly so far. Maybe not. English is not as common as the other part of Romania here. True fact. Yeah. But so far, so good. I like it. Lots of restaurants. The food is good. Mm. All right. There you have it, guys. Um, we will settle into Craiova, and tomorrow. We'll do the traditional market. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. All tomorrow, Crayova, good stuff coming. And hopefully, we can get a car and go to the uh, Danube. Danube Gorges with the Mount Rushmore. Highly recommended Mount Rushmore. That's the Sebel. Mount, Mount uh, Romanian Rushmore. <laughs> Boom. Thanks, guys. Bye. You know what? I just realized something. Normally, in the old town, the center. It's very hard to find traditional food, uh -huh. but not here in Craiova. Uh -huh. Yesterday we went to a restaurant also serve, serving traditional food. I think I got the mushroom stew with mamaliga, and today I got mooch with chorba. Very good. Good I point. Like uh, Craiova Old Town is one of the first places we got meat in. Yeah. Hey, yeah. how did you I not notice that? We were struggling to find mooch in. Uh, where many many old yeah, towns so yeah 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 oh shout out to cryova just like that i love this place mm. <laughs>